Jeanette is here with us today from Synergy Credit Union, and Jeanette is a Wealth Services Supervisor. Jeanette, we're going to be talking about registered disability savings plans. First of all, what are they? The Registered Disability Savings Plan was established by the government in 2008, and it was to help families with um, disabilities and individuals with disabilities to save for their long-term financial security. So contributions to an RDSP are not tax deductible, but mm -hmm. the funds that grow in the RDSP do grow tax-free. And unfortunately, it is highly underutilized um, plan that is out there. So who would qualify for it? Um, qualifying would be, there's four, anyone who qualifies for the disability tax credit qualifies for an RDSP. Okay. Um, they also have to be under the age of 60. They need to um, have a social insurance number mm -hmm. and also have to have, be a Canadian resident. Okay, and, and why is it that you think this plan is, is so underutilized? Do people maybe just not realize that it, it's available? I think it is. It's just unawareness and due to a lack of probably some advertising. Mm -hmm. I also think that, well, we've heard that sometimes to get the disability tax credit can be somewhat... Takes a long time. Yeah, it's yeah. complex and somewhat cumbersome. And then I also think as well that there is... Some disabilities just aren't visible to the eye. So mm -hmm. unfortunately, some people just, we don't realize that they have a disability, so we don't mention it. For example, there's types of diabetes mm -hmm. that do qualify for the disability tax credit, but because we don't know that they qualify, we probably just don't end up mentioning it, unfortunately. Okay, uh, what would be some of the advantages of having an RDSP? So some of the advantages would be um, that they are tax deferred growth. The, mm -hmm. the funds in the plan are tax deferred growth, so it's a tax free, um, money is until money is withdrawn so um, the money grows faster that way right um, the government assistance eligible for bonds and grants and there's no annual minimum it's there's a lifetime maximum of 200,000 and then another thing that is great about them is they do not affect income tested government programs such mm -hmm. as Canada pension plan or old age security and often um, it also doesn't affect provincial programs for oh. people with disabilities. Okay. Uh, how do you open one? Where, where's the first step in, in opening one? You can just <laughs> contact your financial institution. The, okay. uh, the financial institutions are known as the RDSP issuers. Okay. And so the person who opens the plan is the, considered the plan holder. Um, do we just suggest you speak with your financial institution about if this qual if you qualify for this and if this okay. is something for you. Just make an appointment basically. Yeah, and make an going appointment. Go with information. Exactly, and yes. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us and we'll be back and talk more about this in the next hour. Thank you. Thanks.